Who's that over there? Where? Over there, he's coming from Nazareth. Who? I repent. I repent. I'm here to be baptised. Isn't this the wrong way round? You're God's king. I'm just a messenger. How can I baptise you? This is the proper way. I'm ready to begin my mission to save God's people. Okay. What's that? The sky is opening. Is it a dove? You are my son, and I love you. I am very pleased with you. You are my son, and I love you. I am very pleased with you. Wow, God is speaking. 400 years of silence, and now we hear God speak. I must go out into the wilderness. He was tempted in the desert, but he didn't sin. Who could resist doing wrong unless there's someone who's sent by God? No wonder God was pleased with him. He must have been sent by God. Welcome back to Sunday Stories for Families. Today is our second week in Mark's Gospel, and Mark's Gospel is all about Jesus and what he did. We're going to be reading Mark chapter 1, starting at verse 9. If you have a Bible at home, why not read along with me? Or if not, the words will come up on the screen. So we're reading Mark chapter 1, starting at verse 9. 
At that time, Jesus came from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to the place where John was. John baptised Jesus in the Jordan River. When Jesus was coming up out of the water, he saw heaven open. The Holy Spirit came down on him like a dove. A voice came from heaven and said, You are my son and I love you. I am very pleased with you. Then the Spirit sent Jesus into the desert alone. He was in the desert for 40 days and there were wild animals. While he was in the desert, he was tempted by Satan. Then angels came and took care of Jesus. Hi everyone. Do you remember our story from last week about John the Baptist? He was getting the people ready for their king to come. He told the people to repent, to say sorry for the bad things they'd done. And he told the people to be baptised in the river. And because of those things, the people would be forgiven and they would be ready for their king to come. Well, this week in our story, we see that the king did come. Jesus came. He's here. Do you remember in our story, Jesus came from his hometown in Nazareth. He travelled to the river Jordan, where John was, and he got baptised. Now, Jesus got baptised to show us that he was ready to start his mission. He was ready to start his job as king of God's people. His job of saving God's people from their sin. Now, when Jesus got baptised, if you think back to our drama and our Bible reading, you remember that some strange things happened in the story. Can you remember what they were? Well, we're going to think about them now. And these strange things tell us something really important. They tell us that Jesus was sent by God. And because he was sent by God, he could save us from our sins. Now, the first strange thing that happened that tells us that Jesus was sent by God, the first thing was a dove coming down. Do you remember a dove came down from heaven when Jesus was baptised and it rested on him? That seems a bit odd, doesn't it? A dove coming down from heaven? What did that mean? Well, the dove was a symbol. It was a picture. It was showing that God's spirit had come down from heaven and was resting on Jesus. Like a bit of God had come down from heaven and was with Jesus. So how does this show that Jesus was sent by God? Well, if you think back to our last series in Judges, you'll remember we looked at people like Samson and like Gideon. They were leaders of God's people. And we know that they were leaders because God's spirit was on them. So if Jesus has God's spirit coming down from heaven and resting on him, it shows that Jesus too was going to be a leader of God's people. And that means that he was sent by God to lead the people, just like Samson was, just like Gideon was in our last series. So the dove coming down from heaven shows that Jesus was sent by God. So that's the first strange thing that happened to show Jesus was sent by God, the dove coming down from heaven. The second strange thing that happened was the voice. Do you remember a voice booming as Jesus was baptised? It was God speaking. 400 years, God had been silent. God had said nothing at all to his people. And then God speaks from heaven. The people heard his voice. Imagine how amazing that must have been to hear that voice. Now, can you remember from our story what did the voice say? The voice said about Jesus, You are my son, and I love you. 
and I am very pleased with you. Wow, imagine God saying that. Imagine God saying, I am very pleased with you. Nobody else could please God. That was why the people needed to repent, to say sorry for all of the bad things they'd done, sorry for all of the sin they'd done. They had done wrong things. But Jesus was different. He wasn't like the other people. He didn't need to repent and say sorry because he hadn't sinned. And because of that, God was pleased with him. God could say from heaven, I am pleased with you. So this shows us that Jesus was sent by God because God was pleased with him. So God knew that Jesus could do the mission that he'd sent him for, the mission of saving God's people. So the voice is the second thing that shows us that Jesus was sent by God. Okay, so we've had the dove coming down from heaven. We've had the voice speaking from heaven, which was God. What was the third strange thing that happened in our story that shows Jesus was sent by God? Well, the third strange thing that happened was that Jesus went out into the desert. And in the desert, he was tempted to do lots of wrong things. Now, when we're tempted to do wrong things, we often do them. Maybe your brother or your sister annoys you and you're tempted to say something mean to them and you do it. And that's because we are sinful people who do wrong things. I'm often tempted to do things that I know are wrong. And I often do those things because I'm a sinful person. But Jesus was different. He was sent by God. And when he was in the desert, being tempted to do all sorts of things that he shouldn't do, he never gave in. He never did anything wrong. He never sinned. That's amazing. Because no one had ever done that before. No one had ever been able to not sin. I'm sure I couldn't do it, and I'm sure you couldn't either. Jesus was different. And that's why God was pleased with Jesus, because Jesus never did anything wrong. And that shows us that Jesus was sent by God because he was sent on a mission to save people from all the wrong things they'd done, all of their sins. But he could only do that because he hadn't sinned himself. And that shows us that Jesus was sent by God because he could do the mission that God had sent him for. He was the only person who could do that mission. So, can we remember the, the three strange things that happened that show that Jesus was sent by God? Let's list them together. What was the first thing? The first thing was the dove, which was a symbol of God's spirit coming on Jesus. What about the second thing? The second thing was the voice booming from heaven saying, I am very pleased with Jesus. And the third strange thing, can we remember? What was the third strange thing? That was Jesus going out into the desert to be tempted, but he didn't give in to those temptations. And these three things show us that Jesus was sent by God and he was able to do the mission that God had sent him for. And that's amazing news for us. It's amazing news for us because we have all done wrong things. So God is not pleased with us. And that's a really sad thing. But Jesus, he did please God. And God loves us so much that he didn't want to be angry at us for the sins that we had done. He sent Jesus so that if we believe in Jesus, and if we're friends with Jesus, then God will be pleased with us too. 
not because of what we've done, but because of Jesus and his perfectness. You see, God was pleased with Jesus. And so when we believe in Jesus and when we are friends with him, God will be pleased with us too. If we repent, we say sorry for the wrong things that we've done. And if we believe in Jesus, then God will say to us, this is my son or this is my daughter and I love them and I am very pleased with them. Imagine God saying that about you. Wow, what an amazing thing for God to say. And all because Jesus was sent by God to save us. Thank you so much for listening, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's Sunday Stories for Families. If you would like to think more about these things, why not talk to your mum or your dad or someone else that you know? And there's some questions in the description box below where you can think about these things a bit more for yourself. Thank you so much for listening. Goodbye.